name is Kathy, and today I'll be teaching the Irish song Sweet Carnlock Bay from the 50 Irish Melodies for All Harps books by Sylvia Woods. But before I do, I wanted to tell you that I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. On a cold, windy night, a woman asks a man the way to Dundee. He replies that it is difficult to, to, to describe, but he will accompany her along the road. He takes a liking to her and exchanges a token with her. They never meet again, but we, he will always remember her. The Irish version of Carnlow Bay instead of Dunnee, and there is no exchange of tokens. The earliest known printing of the words was in the Buchan Observer in 1908. In 1930, the words and tune were given in John Ord's Bothy Ballads. The tune there is in the minor key and is not used today. The tune that is now used, usually fitted to the words, is given in Colm o, o Loch Lane's Irish Street Ballads of 1939. This might explain why the song is claimed both by the Scots and the Irish. The Irish version of the words is Carnlow Bay, which is in County Antrim. Edith Folk recovered a version in Ontario in 1957. Some sources claim that it was written by Alex McKay from Antrim in about 1900. But without printed evidence, it's hard to establish this claim. Bob Dylan used the tune for the song Walls of Red Wing on the Bootleg Series Volume 1 to 3. I will teach the easy version first and then the advanced version. Then I'll play the easy version with all of the elements discussed and then the advanced version. When performing this piece of music as a solo in public, it's nice to play the easy version and then immediately play the advanced version for a wonderful full-toned effect. And I'll demonstrate this as well. Hello! When learning this piece of music, clap and count out the right hand and the left hand. Then put, put it hands, learn the hands separately and then put it hands together. Sweet Cardinlock Bay is written in the key of G major, so remember to engage all the F-sharping levers before you begin. Now, all music tells a story, and I'm not talking about the words of the song. Rather, I'm speaking about the music itself. In Sweet Carnlock Bay, the melody is in the right hand, and the accompaniment is in the left hand. So make sure that the right hand melody is louder overall than the left hand. In all music, there's a beginning, an ending, and a climax point, And we'll discuss each of these elements now. In music... It's a general rule of thumb that when the notes of the melody, in this case the right hand notes, rise in pitch from lower notes to higher notes, that the volume will increase. And when the note melody notes fall in pitch, the volume will decrease. In general, the left hand of most songs will be the, song beat, uh, the spot where the beat of the song manifests most strongly. In general, the first note of each bar of music in the left hand is slightly emphasized to give a good strong beat. And the lower notes are also emphasized slightly, and what this does is it causes the playing of the piece of music to have greater depth and contrast. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando, or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. And this is the melody of Sweet Carnlock Bay. Isn't that beautiful? In the 
easy version of Sweet Carnlock Bay, there is a broken three note chord at the beginning of the piece of music, and I just wanted to show in the left hand how that comes in. So, the bottom note of the broken three note chord comes in with the right hand. Hear it? I'll do it again. And a little faster. Great. And this is the easy version of Sweet Carnlock Bay. Excellent. In the advanced version of Sweet Carnlock Bay, more notes have been added to the left hand to give a fuller sound to the piece of music, and lower notes as well. At the conclusion of the piece will be a slight retardando, or a slight slowing down of the tempo so that the listener can hear that the song is about to end. In the advanced version of Sweet Carnlock Bay, there are broken, several broken three-note chords in the left hand, and I just wanted to demonstrate how those came in. The first, the, well, uh, let's start at the beginning. The first one appears right at the beginning of the piece of music, and the bottom note of that left hand chord comes in with the right hand. Hear it? I'll do it again. Now I'll do it a little faster. And that's how it goes. And this is the advanced version of Sweet Carnlock Bay. Excellent. And this is the solo performance version of Sweet Carnlock Bay, starting first with the easy harp arrangement, immediately followed by the advanced harp arrangement. Excellent. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel. 
by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care!